Welcome back. You're still watching Metrophile on Channels Television. Not many people live up to 100 years. So for the late Prince Dr. Adepo Joakomolafe, who died at the age of 104, it was an opportunity for his loved ones to celebrate the good life they lived as they came together to pay their last respects to the patriarch of the Akomolafe family. St. John's Anglican Church, Ido Ekiti, in the Ido Si local government area of Ekiti State, southwest Nigeria, played host to people from all walks of life who gathered for the final funeral ceremonies for the departed late centenarian Prince Dr. Adikboju Akomolafe, aged 104 years. The Bishop of the Diocese of Ondo, Right Reverend Stephen Adenironi, reminded the congregation that mere mortals will give account of days spent on earth and will face the consequences of any deviation from God's standard in the afterlife. The Thanksgiving was characterized by praise and dancing in the celebration of a true matriarch who impacted lives and lived life itself to the fullest from the 5th of April 1917 to the 4th of January 2022. After the church service, there was more dancing and Omoba Adekboju Akomolafe began the last journey to his final resting place at the church cemetery. God for his life. I, I wish I could do a tenth of what he has achieved in life. Yeah, he was a very, very wonderful man, and um, he he made all his um, daughter-in-law very. He made us all comfortable. The ageless juju music maestro King Sunny Ade was on stage to entertain as more dignitaries joined the reception. Oh, boy, you want 
Omoba Adeboju Akomolafe was a consummate teacher in the western region of Nigeria and Lagos for 25 years, teaching at various schools including the CMS Grammar School and Igobi College, Lagos. In 1954, he was elected the first chairman of Vidosi Local Council. He was a founding member of the Action Group under the leadership of the late sage, Chief Obafemi Awolowo, on whose platform he was elected a member of the federal parliament in 1959. He was a shadow minister for the Federal Ministry of Establishment and deputy leader of opposition in the parliament during the First Republic. Omoba Dr. Adekwoju Akomolafe is survived by his wife, children, grandchildren and great-grandchildren. May his soul rest in peace. Longevity is the grace that only God can give and we always pray to have it in good health too. Well, this is where we draw the curtains on today's edition of Metro File. Thank you so much for coming on this journey with us. Don't forget, watch past editions of the program. Go to youtube.com forward slash channels web, scroll to Metro File, and then enjoy your week with it. Also, if you want to find out details about the program, please call that number blinking on your screen. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, and I'll see you again very soon. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.